Hello, hello, hello. What the heck is going on in the chat? What the heck is that name? Why does that name begin with a whole bunch of blank space at the beginning? What's even going on? Hello, hello, and welcome to the next map from the 31st Strawberry Jam. We have uh, Bones of the Oracle for 116.3. I'm playing in 116.4 because 116.4 was just bug fixes, so it should hopefully be fine. Uh, made by a team of people, who are collectively the Burmas, apparently. Blam, Jonch, Rot, Rotty, Rotty, Ed, Rotty Tell? Rotty L? Rotty Tell? I'll go with Rotty Tell, that sounds probably correct. And Dan Eco. I cannot read the alphabet. Sure. Uh, so yeah, jam up by team of four. Uh, there are already people in the chat window saying that the map is good. Judging by the fact it was made by a much larger group of people than the average gem map and somebody's already saying it's pretty good, it's probably pretty good. Find and complete the monument. Find the wool and special chests. Don't craft wool for the monument. Use at least easy, never peaceful. As per standard, we shall use normal. Survive in any way you can think of. Do not leave the map boundaries. Heave foo. I shall attempt to heave foo. Seeing as I'm not certain what foo is, I, I'm not sure about that one. Rabbit woods. Well, we have stone right off the bat. We have some trees over there. I could have gathered a whole bunch of wood from the spawn, but we don't really need to do that with trees right here. Uh, got some leggings, we've got a basic sword. It's not a Peruvian sword, it does not have unbreakable. It has a little bit of unbreaking. Uh, I guess we should probably take at least some of the string. Make a bow. Maybe make a bed as well. Since we appear to have quite a bit of string. Uh, there's what looks like a little crack in the wall over there. And I don't think I can make that jump. We're gonna need a couple of blocks. But hopefully nothing tries to get me before I've actually gotten to the tree. Okay, there's a spawner there, but I think we can just stay out of range of it for the moment. Mm -hmm. ba -dum -ba -dum Doing the basic starting stuff. Knocking down a tree. Which apparently also had a torch in it. So that's pretty helpful. One extra light. Never hurts. Yes, continuing to do the basic starting things here. We have some stone off the bat. Is this real stone as well? This is real stone as well. Okay. We're not going to be short on wood nor stone then. Uh, there's a wolf running around over there. Hopefully it is not an aggressive one. Uh, let's make an axe as well, why not? And we can also do a bow right off the bat here. Like so. And I suppose we'll make a spare sword as well. We have more than enough materials to do so. Just to make sure that the chat is actually working, because nobody has said anything since I actually started the stream, so I need to double check. Yep, it's working. Good, good. What have we around here then? Only just a redstone torch. Huh. Well, okay then. 
point, I guess. I didn't want to find a secret thing anyway. Which biome is this? Plains. Probably natural mobs are turned off then. Otherwise I expect we would have run into something or other by now. That is either not primed or already somehow spawned when we ran over here before and I didn't notice and somehow despawned and I don't know. By the way, it didn't spawn anything. So that's good for me, I suppose. There's one. And you are doing more damage than an ordinary spider should be. Some arrows might be useful then. And some better armor. And not falling out of trees. There's a ladder. Just use the ladder. No need to climb the tree when you have a ladder. Uh, we have an unknown CD, apparently. Have some more leather armor. Have another wooden pick, which we don't really need because we already have access to stone. More spawners down there. Don't have too, too much in the way of bread quite yet, so we need to be a little bit careful. There's some mushrooms around, but they're all brown, brown. Yeah, brown. And they're red mushrooms, so we can't make stew. Doesn't look like the creepers have been altered in any way. Appear to just be regular old creepers. Okay, open sky area. We've got some archers. Again, gonna be a little bit annoying because we haven't got a shield or any ammunition yet. Okay, they're fighting each other. That works. And the wolf is after them as well. Ah, this must be spawning wolves then. It's just showing a zombie because the zombie is helping to spawn the wolf. I see, I see. Okay. Good wolf. Sharpness one, smite one. That's not terrible. And more string, more string. Definitely not going to run out of string. Is there any coal around here anywhere? Don't see any. However, there's a whole bunch of wood and there's a whole bunch of stone, so we can just make some charcoal and get torches that way. Get out of here. Uh, stop. I think the wolf must have had something riding it, which I just killed. Invisible silverfish or something. Stone that suddenly looks a lot less like blood when it's placed on the floor than it used to. Because they re added the, uh, the cross texture to the game. Uh, 
Redstone, redstone, redstone. Coal, coal, coal. No, we'll leave that to do its thing. Get a little bit of this. Not too much there. Nine. that back over there, drop a couple of those in there, that will do the rest of the coal for me, and with this we can make the torches. Torches, torches, I guess we may as well stick them in the offhand, seeing as we don't have anything else to put there yet. Don't even really have the ability to put a bow yet there, because we don't have any arrows to use with the bow anyway. What is up here? No, oh, there is actually things up here. Uh, I think I've just skipped a whole bunch of area by going up that cliff. That looks to me to be some kind of objective. Orange wool. Well, okay then. We'll go around to it the proper way eventually as well, but I uh, don't want to actually actually skip anything. But I will take it. Cheese! We have found cheese. We have located cheese. The cheese has been acquired. Okay. Now that we have the cheese... I wonder if that's the first or the second, then. It's a mini-map, so white may or may not have been skipped. I'm also not entirely sure how many wool are even in the map. I did not check. Uh, prop 1, Feather Falling 1, and Breaking 2. Well, that's the same sword we got at the beginning. Yeah. A little bit of chicken we can cook. Creepity creeper. There's no spiders spawning from somewhere. It's fine. Let's start cooking that. Uh, I've got a road all the way up there we can go across at some point. Probably, unless that's supposed to be the top of the map and leaving the boundaries. Okay, no. It's full wolves and orange is the first of them. So there is no white. Uh, bed supplies. Take the coal block. Torches, another free furnace here, some chests, just do that. Uh, we don't need quite that many crafting tables, but I'll plop one down. Doors, I don't think we really need the grass block, I don't know what I need that for really at the moment. Sapling, meh, there are trees everywhere. Stack of glowstone is okay, but I would rather use torches, preferably. But we're not really short on the coal for those torches. So we'll stick with that for the time being. Let's not actually put it on the monument until I feel like I've actually earned it. 
until I've gotten around to the box via the correct direction. Hopefully this is all cooked by now. It should be, yep. I need to leave those two things there. Take the extra furnace forward with me. There we go. Okay, well we have a right, we have a left. We know the wool is back in that direction, because, well, we have it. Uh, I guess we can put some of this stuff away. I need to be carrying the disc around with me. I don't know if it's even useful for anything yet. Uh, we don't need to carry around all the string now that we have been given some beds. Let me swap that around a little bit. A little bit of lag. A little bit more lag. One of these, one of those. Yep. Spiders appear to be the most dangerous mob in town, at least for the moment. More mushrooms, but it's still only the brown ones. We got a cobweb filled cave. Stop accidentally firing the bow! Gonna waste those arrows. Area 2, Wretched Cavern, is that direction. Some random end stone here. Doesn't appear to be hiding anything though. I should just not have the bow in this slot. Exploding me, please. Hey, buddy. One well, also does a lot of damage, I think, but it doesn't move nearly as quickly as the spider does. And in here we have a trap. Probably shouldn't have fallen for that one. The obvious trapped chest. I'm out of practice, apparently. It has been a while since I've seen a trap in a map. I've seen a trap in a map since Nova Arcana. Which wasn't that long ago, really. Anyway. I just need to not use that in that slot, especially when right-clicking for a very, very brief second will send the arrow flying. Put it back in the regular place. What was on here anyway? Piercing one, quick charge one, and breaking one, I think? Yes, indeedy. Cruel time requires cruel measures. Torch. Torch. No. 
not entirely sure why. I think it's just the aesthetic of these structures. But this area kind of reminds me of uh, like a Yomi or Asihira or a 14er type map, but without the difficulty. I think just because it's a cave with a lot of uh, fairly boxy ruined structures in it. Which is sharp three, smite one, unbreaking five, useless piercing that doesn't do anything on a sword, but that's still a good weapon, much better than the one I currently have. And another wooden pick we don't really need because we have the stone. And some more string. Okie dokie. I'm getting a lot of leather as well. Means we're not gonna run out of armor anytime soon. And if I had another player with me, there's enough gear around for. I don't think I'd want to do it with any more than two people. But there's enough for two. I also did see a shield in that chest directly above me. Grab that in a moment. Break the rest of these first. Okay. And we've gotten to our box the proper direction. Box achieved again via the fun path. Sharp through efficiency three mending vanishing. That's very good unless we die with it. Which hopefully we won't, and we have our shield. I guess there's little enough stuff in that chest where we can just yoink the entire chest. Okay, so area two is over there. But we have a couple more different directions in this area still to clear, so we'll do that first. Poison 2. I guess I'll carry it around, but I probably won't ever actually end up using it. Um, I guess I'll just take the glowstone as blocks, seeing as we don't actually have many other blocks. It'll just be generic building block. And there's our orange wool. No firework or anything from placing it on the monument, but hey ho, it's a jam map. Quick pick. Uh, another one of the same wooden things, and breaking one bow. More arrows, more chicken I can cook. I like how it's giving the chicken in multiples of eight. That's very convenient. Very efficient. I can just cook them all with a single piece of coal. Set of the enchanted armor. More bread. It's the same axe again. Yep. Fine, fine. How did you get all the way up there? Not sure. But if it doesn't mind me, I don't mind it. Let's 
just another redstone torch behind a wall. And in here, Grey Wolf Mask, Prop 3, Projectile Protection 1. Same sword again. Spare armor. Uh, it's not in a multiple of eight. Seven. Well. Something, something, wolves and sheep. Um. I don't think it's really as good as what we already have. Well. It's about equivalent, really. Better for projectiles, slightly worse for everything else. That is not a sword. That isn't a sword. I need a sword in that slot. And I need a weapon. It's fairly important. a little. More spare armor, spare torches. There's probably enough loot for three players as well. Looks like another area transition up here. That's just what the snow looks like without the snow layer on top. Or it's mycelium and covered snow. And it's another biome. Silent Sanctuary. Ooh. That's a cool looking structure. Okay. Floating orb. I like how this area looks. Not sure what the floating orb is all about though. Either way, we're not going that way quite yet. What about up here then? More wolves. More archers. Good for me, means I get more arrows. More wolves. Uh. Hey. We have made a friend. We have found a friend. We have a wolf. And that way looks like area four. Don't know why I'm bothering to light up the entire area. Natural spawning is off. Palace of Dabur. Hopefully I pronounced that at least somewhat closely to correct. And this is directly above the monument again. Cool. You can vind a quick way down. Some of that, some of that. Cook more food. 
That goes there. Everything gear wise is still looking just fine. No need to swap anything out quite yet. Uh, or maybe I do want to put another another sword or two in the uh, in the bar. As I know, the next area is full of cobwebs. Probably just gonna want a rubbish sword or two to break those. Okay. Richard Cavan. Second day in a row, we've dealt with poison arches. We just encountered those in uh, Dark Realms as well. Sharpness 2, Bane 1, Efficiency 1. Very nice. Cobweb Breaker and Spider Killer. Also, did that just happen? Did what I think just happen just happen? I need an instant replay. But I think those spiders just came out from little egg-looking things on top of that lump of sponge over there. Didn't actually come from a spawner. Yeah. You can see them glowing over there. That's pretty cool. That's a cool mechanic. Get wolfed. Spiders, the cobwebs, chest down there. We have got some more of them spiders. We've got some more of them archers too. Looks like the wolf has got the uh, problem dealt with though. Problem sorted. Yep, there's the spiders. That's a cool mechanic. This is the second day on the trot we've had a cave spider poison themed area with a really interesting mechanic in it. And they each look rather different as well. Same general idea of poison area, but done in a very, very different way to each other. We've got a wretch and we got a ravenous wretch. What's the difference? Okay, Piercing Crossbow is very good for dealing with those, since they don't have much health. Sharp one, knockback one, and breaking one. Uh, I'd rather have the smite one, actually. Well, would I? No, I wouldn't. It's plus two damage, and it's got some knockback. 
Proctor, you projectile protection one and breaking three. That's better than the, uh, the rubbish old thorns. Rubbish old, let's break your armor quickly, thorns. Get out of the web, boy. Get out of the web, boy. Get out of the web, boy. Really? You're being rather ineffectual, my friend. Get out of the web. What have we got in here? I like the eggs. That makes total sense. Why have I never seen eggs in a chest in a spider covered area before? That makes complete total sense. Prot 2 Feather Falling and Breaking 3. Plus 4 max health. Eh, the shield is better. Get out of the web, boy. How difficult it is to clean cobweb out of a cat or dog's fur. And the wolf is poisoned. Leave it, it's not worth it. Plot 2, binding and breaking 2. Eee, not worth it with the binding on it. It's one prot worse, so it's not even too, too much better than what we have. And the binding on it is a big no. You eat chicken? You do eat chicken. Have some chicken. What's in here? Lots of poison arrows, very nice. Prop 2, fire prop 1, blast prop 1, and breaking 3. Very nice, and a power 2 bow. I would rather have the piercing, if only because I have already found out how effective it is at dealing with the cave spiders. I want to keep it around for doing that. Knockback is best for dealing with the creepers. That apparently didn't have too much health left on it. Those are just buttons, aren't they? That's really cool. Okay, crossbow at the ready. Sorry, you healed. Torch, torch, torch. Those two are just gonna fight each other. Well, that and run away from the wolf. Lots of poison arrows. Spare spider armor, lots of food, another power to efficiency, silk touch, and breaking one. Are we going to need the silk touch for anything? 
because otherwise it isn't a particularly brilliant item. I guess I'll take it, seeing as we have room. But I'm not sure what we're going to need the silk touch for, really. Engage the skeleton, please. That works, I suppose. Run. Shoot. Okay. Want to save the rest of the chicken to use with the wolf if at all required. So let's swatch out to something else. Swatch, swatch again. It's the second day on the trot I've also said swatch instead of switch. Learn to pronounce things properly, me. Uh, sharp four, fire aspect two, and breaking three, mending. That's not going to break despite being gold, in all likelihood, with both the mending and the unbreaking on it. Fire Aspect 2 is pretty useful. Is it better than one more damage and smite, though? Probably as a secondary, probably not as a primary. Okay. Lots more cave spiders ready to appear down there. Really, I want to spawn them all so I can then hit several at once with the piercing, like so, like so. Just slightly more efficient with the arrows. Get him, wolf. Break that. Um... Got a little bit of treacherous terrain here. Could be the box down there, seeing as I don't see anything really over here. Okay, those ones have an axe, it just broke my shield. Buddy, you have an axe as well. Heal the wolf. Good job, buddy. Hopefully we do find some more chicken at some point so we can keep healing the wolf because he is being rather useful. Sharp five and breaking five. Hmm. That's really rather good, but I'm not sure where I would put it because I already have two very good weapons on the bar. Job, wolf, you missed. Uh, 
there, break that one. Presumably this is the wall then. Indeed so. Uh, we don't need any string. Get out the web, boy. One, two, three. Okay. Could go all the way back around, but I think we find a nest pillar out of here. What a nice little area. I don't think this is going to be an especially long map, but the areas, though short, are good, and this one had some really interesting mechanics in it. And they all look rather pretty. I do like the aesthetics here. Is yellow? There's all the things we got out of that area. Spare shield. Some of these, some of those. Let's just take the poison ones. Uh, current pick is doing fine. Do we have any more chimken? We do. I want to use those on the wolf. I can just use you to break things. You'll do. You'll do the trick. More torches. Try and take the coal blocks if possible. That'll save time. Don't need to break as much coal. We have got a good enough pick where we can break it very quickly. It'd be even nicer if we had a fortune. But this is good enough, really. There's enough coal around here. We can always make more charcoal if we need to. I don't even need to use the torches quite as aggressively as I have been. No natural mob spawning. Uh... Again, we'll just have the glowstone for blocks. Like some more health potions or something, if possible. It would be nice. We have a free slot on the hot bar, which it would be good to put a bucket or a health potion or something in. I'm sure we'll be fine though. What's going on with the orb in the sky then? It's a nice looking area though. There's some iron down there. Hmm. Could just drop down, but I'll take the intended path. Nothing gonna fall out the ceiling. Looks like the wolf has found something to fight. Be 
go. Stop getting into fights without me. I'm gonna die. And I would rather you didn't. For you are useful. Okay, anything in the ravine? Seems like a no. I like the block far on the ground here. Or the mycelium covered with snow, but without the snow layer on top. It just kind of looks like ash. It's very nice. Well, that's unfortunate. Well, that's bad. Well, hmm, hmm. That was rubbish. Stuck in random web. Doesn't look like we have been provided with a death counter. We'll need to keep track in our head and then our head, like some kind of hive mind. Anyway, one death. <laughs> or I guess I add one, but it probably isn't worth it. Not for a map this short. I'm sure we'll be able to keep track. And we lost to the pick, for it had vanishing on it. Lovely. Uh, that, 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 there, that, there. Looks like we somehow lost a bunch of stuff, actually. Some of it ended up down here. Just cut through that with the gold sword, really. It has mending on it. And uh, breaking two shields, some better armor, some food. Get out of the web, boy. Huh. There's ancient debris over there. That's uh, that's pretty. That's pretty something. I would like that. Well, we need to run back and gather a pick real quick. will do. Uh, one more. Another. And then down this way. go. One replacement pickaxe. Get everything back in order. What have we got here? Prot 1, fire prot 1, and breaking 1. And that's just prot 1 and breaking 1. Yeah, I think the prot 3 is actually better, slightly, than the extra 2 armour. They're fairly close. They're fairly similar to each other. I 
And we're out. Wasting a whole lot of glowstone, just making pillars with it. That is totally the wrong way around. You've been your wolf. Orc. Wolf will eat the pork too. Efficiency of two and breaking two. Gunpowder, more, better armor. Well, is it really though? Is it really? One more armor for one less prot, fire prot, and blast prot. No, it isn't. It isn't better armor. Not really. Not really. It's more durable. That's about it. Where did my wolf friend go? There he is. Run. Oh, you're fine, you're fine. Those up, back away again, pull the wolf back, hopefully, there we go, yep, don't die, I think the wolf may have outlived its usefulness, was doing quite well on the previous area, but against mobs that deal this much damage to it, it's not holding up nearly as well. It's still doing alright though. It's being helpful. So I shall attempt to keep it alive. Spawn a placeholder, very nice. Yeah, you keep those two occupied for a moment. Sure, the wolf is healed. The gas is way the way over there, not bothering anybody, so I'll leave him alone. Uh, break you. Sharpness three, mending. I'll take that happily. Another pick. Uh, it's pretty good, but not as good as our current secondary. Need more torches. Huh. Looks to me like this was originally going to go somewhere and then run out of time. Gem map. You know. Just to gem map things. 
random corridor that doesn't actually go anywhere anymore. At least that's the impression I'm getting from that corridor. that. Keep running around. The wolf can handle its own for a moment while I break through the wall. bad. I don't want to pursue him too far in that direction. Pull the wolf back. Food, another one of those, another one of those. Yeah, I feel like this might be a good two player map. Nice job, Wolf. You killed the Blaze. Proud of you. Get out the web, boy! Okay, keep running. Keep running! What the heck is that up there? Wolf. Okay. Missed. This map is pretty good so far. I really like the aesthetics of all of these areas. They are all fairly original looking as well. Especially this one. I have no idea how to classify this theme really, and that is a good thing. That implies originality. It's a happy little check mark. On my uh, on my spreadsheet for originality, tick. Interesting theme. It's got some interesting gameplay ideas as well, which are good. Uh, what is down here? Apart from a broken ladder. deal with most of these. Uh, 
Hmm, some kind of fine wine. <laughs> Strength 3 for 1 second. Very helpful. Regen 3 for 30 seconds. Actually less sarcastic. Very helpful. Very helpful. Instant health 2, instant health 2, instant health 2. We're running out of room here. Hello, creepers. Okay, we've got lots of instant health too. I don't have enough room for all of those. Where did the creepers come from? Right there. That's a bad looking room I just got a glimpse of. That looks like a whole lot of lava. Well, that looks like a whole lot of suddenly death trap. What is in this fire room then? Why, why, why? Why the heck did you do that? Farewell, wolf. I've made a very fatal mistake. F in the chat for the wolf. F, F, F. Mm. Well, I tried to keep him alive. Uh, came so far. I need to die like this. Nothing behind the painting. Huh. Interesting little attention to detail. A sturdy thing. Some brick. Bunch of iron. Plus its armor. Yes, please. And that can go there. These can go here. Don't expect we'll actually need the brick for anything, but it could be some kind of trade item, so I'll take it. That wolf, dude, that wolf. I just ran off into the lava room. That makes me sad. This is why cats are better. Cat wouldn't have done that. would have had more sense than to do that. Oh well. Oh well. Okay, well, we have a full inventory. Uh, I have not been provided with any kind of shulker box, so let's run a bunch of this stuff back. All well, the potions in particular I want to drop off. Some of that there armor. I wonder if we have enough bones laying around to get another wolf. I don't think they're being too useful anymore anyway. As I said, it was very useful to have them around in the spider area, but in this one the mobs are dealing so much damage anyway that he just takes a whole lot of damage rather quickly. And derps into lava like a, like a, like a wolf. Right, what do we got? We got some good armor. We got offhand or two. We got a whole bunch of iron here. 
Do I want to actually make anything with the iron? Do I want to switch out any of the other armor? Let's carry these as spares, but the leather is better while it's intact. Until it breaks. Do you like having a potion around? That's good, that's good. Keep those two around. Other than that, I think we're still doing pretty fine. This is going to be a two-streamer map. Don't think we're going to beat this one and the whole of the next area in 30 minutes. It's possible, of course, but I don't think it's going to happen. Gather up the iron. I like how that structure looks. Very nice aesthetic. Of course we've despawned and or broken all the spawners in here already, so we're pretty fine. And our reward is iron. Not a whole lot actually in here. Just some iron. Just some more iron. Um, get that one out of here. Oh hi. Well oh, hey there. A bunch more stuff up and around the top here. Break that one. And that one. That one. Not sure where the spider is. I hear it, but I don't see it. Uh, what's this that dropped all the way over here? A glowing block of coal. Fair enough, we do need more coal. We have some keys. It's interesting because I've only found one thing that looked like a key. There's a chest way down there. Well, I need to go back and grab one of those bricks that I placed in the monument then. Probably that one. Whack, whack. Break, break. Over here, then. 
petrified something. Looks like that might just be to guide us down here. Otherwise, it would be difficult to see this tunnel. This way. Oh, hey, I don't want to cheese it. Cheese things for cheese belongs on pizzas, not in maps. here. A scorching thing. Yeah, okay, that's clearly a key. It's written in the same purple text as the previous bricks were. So we need one more. Luckily, we have some feather falling. Okay. Well, that is obviously this one. Nothing in the big pile of snow? Doesn't look like it. There is a random end rod down there for some reason. that one because the brick is clearly about the stone houses because hey look it's a stone house apparently it's down here somewhere Thing, uh, do hear things. It's ground. It's floor. Should have brought a shovel with me, apparently. Yeah, this is a little bit too well hidden. Uh huh. Yeah, I wouldn't have found that without the hint. Two hidden, five me. Expected there had to be something around that building, otherwise where would it be there? But I didn't expect it to be quite this deep. Ignore the underwater spawner. 
Do not ignore the underwater chest. Uh, ditch these, grab those. Air pocket. There we go. A shining thing. Some of which do not stack with the others for some reason. Minecraft, why? MBT, why? Why, why, why MBT? I blame the MBT. I do not blame the map maker for that one. That is MBT tag weirdness. Uh, stuff. Do not need the extra shield. We have several of them already. What else did we get? Power 3 punch mending. That's pretty excellent. That's better than what we had. I'll take that one. And we came in from here. Nice fire aspect. Not gonna do much when I'm down in the water. Okay, get out of there. And I need to quickly head back to the base to grab the first key. For I did not know that it was a key at the time when I put them all back at the base. Running, running, running. Running, running, running. <sighs> One more day left of the work. And then I have three weeks off. Hooray! I need to buy Christmas presents for people. What do I do? What do I buy? How many socks do I get for people? These are the real important questions, aren't they? Uh, where the heck did we get an eye of Ender from? Anyway, uh, brick. One of these, some of those. Put some of those in there, actually. Actually. Keep one of those with me. I think we really need to, because that's the one I already placed. I don't want to give up the leather armor easily. In fact, what we could do, potentially, depending on whether or not certain tags have been applied to these items, what we could do is make an anvil and attempt to repair this very nice leather armor. Or alternatively, the next area could just have diamonds or something in it and completely invalidate any of that nonsense. So, we should probably poke our head into the final area before we do any of that. Before we spend the time doing any of that, just in case it would be utterly pointless. Did we grab this chest? Yes, we did. Right. One brick. Now, let's see what the giant orb in the sky was for. Efficiency 10. There we go. 
get a free water bucket. That's pretty cool. Right down on top of a pillar. Nice. So you could have just skipped up there, really, but you would need to spend ages breaking the crying obsidian with an iron pick. But maybe that would still be quicker if there's a diamond or netherite one in the next area. If you're speedrunning the map, go grab a quick pick from somewhere else first, if it does exist, and break in rather than going through the entire area. Maybe. Who knows. Well, I don't think I'm going to beat the final area without cheesing it a whole bunch within 15 minutes, but we can at least have a good look. Some of that, some of that, some of that. Some of these, some of those. Got one more use on the pick of destiny. If I can repair it, that'll be nice. It'll drop down to efficiency five, but it'd still be quite nice. If the final area cares to give me some diamonds. It might not, who knows? It was the random debris in the previous area. Which makes me think the diamonds are possibly less likely, because then you would be able to get ancient debris armor, and that stuff is pretty powerful. pretty slow, and they're pretty low on health, so it probably means they have a very nice weapon. Well, it's just a glowing netherite sword, but it's still a pretty nice weapon. Same attack damage as my one. Some flame. Some more flame. Digger. A little bit of bedrock. Intentional, though, I think. Matches the block palette. Okay. Looks like a very, very open area. Main problem may just be figuring out where exactly the objective is. That was clearly not a regular creeper. These blocks have a high blast resistance. It shouldn't have blown up that big of a crater. So it's clearly not an ordinary creeper. It's just a light. Going up. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, no, nothing actually behind here. It's just a huge chunk of coal, which is pretty good by itself. Not going around at our torches then. drop another sword. Okay, Evoker, though it's not spawning vexes, which is nice. We got some baby zombies instead, which is still annoying, but not as bad as vexes.
One totem. Good to have. Here we have loads of some good looking things. I'll take a better look when I'm not in range of spawners. Got one mending. Power 3 flame infinity. Very nice. Efficiency 1 and breaking 1, 14, 1 iron. Very nice. And on the top rung, we have nothing over here. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Uh, did the phantoms come from? What is that potion they're carrying? Something unpleasant, probably. And what's in this box? Hey! Hello! Feather Falling 2, Mending Prot 2, uh, Diamond, very nice. Thomas two smite one axe, not too bad either. Very good, very good. Uh, this direction then. This might be a very quick area. Having too many problems yet. One with a skeleton skull. Uh, mending plus two armor. Another pick. There's the phantom spawner. Or one of them anyway, hanging off the tree over there. Right there. What's that potion? It's harming and slowness. Hooray! Probably the cheese way is just to water bucket down to the bottom. Because we were literally just given a water bucket at the end of the previous area. And you could definitely skip all of these ledges just by using a Z bucket. Excuse me. Tom actually. Helmet broke. Sure. 
We don't have anything better. So I'll go with that. Okay, more oh, very good armor. Yes, please. Where did the blaze come from? Not sure. Yeah, right there. Uh, we're gonna run out of torches before we get to the bottom. Hello, spawner placeholder. Spawn a placeholder. It's the third one. Oh, the joys of being a jam map. Munition, coal. What we really need is the wood, though. I know there's a bunch right over there. But I don't have any blocks to get right over there with. Hello, spawner placeholder. Whatever, we don't really need torches anyway. There's enough light around to see what we're doing, and there's no natural spawns, so. It doesn't matter too much. We can break the spawners in an acceptable amount of time with this quality of pick. Don't really need to light them all up. Okay. Just double checking that wasn't void down there before I try and engage them. And it isn't. It's just a floor. Here. Sharpness 2, sweeping edge 2. Not as good as my current one. Unless you're dealing with a particularly large group of mobs, of course. slightly long because I feel like if I ended it here the next stream would just be ridiculously short so we'll continue same spawner placeholder I mentioned earlier that's a box looks like we don't even have to go right down to the bottom of the area did absolutely nothing. Good job. Carried around that potion for the entire map. 
only to use it on absolutely nothing. Clap, clap, clap. Well done. Cool. Random red shirt. There's the wall. Mm -hmm. Why not even need to go long if we can get it back within three minutes? This was a nice little map. Like all the map looks very nice. Got some interesting area themes here, especially the second and third areas. I think the second area was probably my favourite. Um, there's a couple of places in this area and kind of in the third one, like that corridor that went nowhere, where the end of this map felt a little bit rushed because of the jam. Because of the time limit. But it all played quite well. Custom items are quite nice. I think this is a very suitable map for two people. There's enough gear around to do that. Maybe three people as well. Might be pushing it a little bit more though. I really liked the spiders coming out of eggs mechanic. That was cool. Uh, fighting alongside the wolf was pretty cool. That was not an intentional part of the map design, I don't think, though. Hey, look, we missed a chest. It's just something that I kind of did and that happened and that was interesting. Bish bash bosh, there we go. Uh, bang bang, we died once. We died once in the third area to getting stuck in that random web. Well, hello. Okay. This way you go into spectator mode at the end of the map, you find cool things like this. Okay, a bunch of chunkiness from when the area was uh, originally intended to be a bit bigger, it looks like. Bottom area down here ended up going unused. There's another little command blocky room down here. Looks like it was supposed to do some tell rules or something, and it didn't work. Slime block break, set blocks to air. Yeah, there's some command block contraption down here which doesn't work. Interesting. Uh, it's one of nether wart that got covered over. Okay. I think this area was probably the best one, in my opinion. Looks really nice. 
doesn't outstay its welcome. The spider mechanic is really interesting. Uh, it's good to compare between the similarly ideaed poison area, which I just did in Dark Realms 1 as well. Contrast the way they did things differently, despite having poison and spiders as central premise. Bunch of wooden makeshift houses up here. I think could have done the wall slightly better than just putting it in a random orb in the sky, but I like the keys being in like separate little themed areas here. Shame this doesn't really go anywhere. Are little random buildings around. Beginnings of an area there that never got used. This area feel was quite generic y, but it looks very nice. And it plays alright. And then we've got kind of a base going on here. Maybe this was supposed to be the original spawn? I'm not sure. I can't read the signs. I'm not totally sure what that one's about. It just goes up into uh, whatever that's supposed to be. Right, we never did anything with the CD either. Some other random stuff. Well, cool. Nice. Nice, fun little map. Nothing too out of the ordinary, but the spider mechanic again. I like the spider mechanic, it's nice! Cool, like, uh, cool mechanics are good. Cool mechanics are good. Cool mechanics are good. Uh, Advent calendar. Uh, where is the correct door? And there it is. Random fact of the day. Venus is the second brightest object in the night sky. Fascinating. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Stay safe. And until next time, I shall see you soon.